Okay, we're gonna uh, look at a setup uh, to go to the close guard. Uh, why do I like to do this? Uh, I, a lot of times, prefer to play guard. Uh, I like, of course, working my top game. I try to develop both. Um, but when I like to play guard, I wanna make sure I get to the guard. So if we just start like this and we make grips and then I'm trying to break the grip and go to the, to the close guard, for example, then I give you the opportunity to sit down in front of me. So if I have a competition match and I want to play my A game and my A game is my close guard, for example, then I don't want to give him the opportunity uh, to pull in front of me because then I have to pass and that was not what I wanted to do. So I want to be first. So a little bit back. So I don't have the time to get all the grips and take my time and then pull guard. So you need to go straight away. So a few options for that is, I'm trying to go to the cross collar straight away. As soon as I know I have the grip, I'm just going to sit down and dive for the ankle on the same side. So I'm going to pull to the Dilehiba guard and from there work my way to the close guard. So I'm going to make my grip. This hand can look for control on this arm, but my main focus is going, as soon as I go down, going to his foot. So, I go here, I step in, I sit down, throw my legs up, swing the leg around straight away. I can grab the heel or the pants, depending on preference. And then from here, this foot is here, trying to be active, not putting it uh, on the foot and then waiting too long because he can step over. So, as soon as I put my foot on the hip, I put it high and then I'm going to try to uh, this, uh, distract him. I'm trying to uh, make him post this hand on the mat. So I'm going to pull on the collar and kick his leg away and turn to my right. So go all at once. If he steps his hand on the mat, that's my cue for putting the foot on the hip, lifting, and then going towards the close bar here. Okay, so I'll show you guys from a different angle. So I'm standing here and I don't want to give him the chance to pull guard. So as soon as I get the grip, I sit down. Like this, okay? Then from here, I want to uh, not wait too long. So I'm gonna try straight away to off balance him. So this foot is straight away going to the leg, pushing him away, pulling him down and turning to my right again. So boom, like this. If he puts the uh, hand down, that's my cue. I let go of the ankle. I put the foot on the hip. I elevate my hip here. I chop the leg, I chop the other leg, and I get to the close guard. So if he leaves, let's turn. If I land here and he leaves his arm there, then I can straight away catch the back. Usually he's gonna pull his arm back, but I have my position from here. Okay, so I'll show you guys one more time. Different angle again. So a little bit diagonally from here. So I'm going to grip, sit down, and then do it straight away. Boom, I try to get to the guard. Okay, so he's gonna square up on me, of course, because if he doesn't square up on me and he stays on his side, I have the side position, which is very good for me to go to his back, to go to sweeps set up arm locks, so he's always gonna try and square up. I can try and prevent that, of course. If I can, I will, but at least I have the position I wanted. Close guard. So now we're gonna uh, look at one of my favorite attacks. Uh, I've been doing the arm lock for years, and uh, afterwards they start defending the arm lock, then you, you need to get a plan B. So instead of just going for basic arm locking mechanics like this, I started still using the two-on-one grip, but then go for the back side and do the basic pendulum sweep. Works quite well, also works in, in Nogi. So the first uh, setup is from the basic grips for the basic arm bar like this, two-on-one. So what we're gonna do, we're going to lift the arm and lift my hips at the same time. So my hips are gonna go off the ground. So hips off the ground, pull the arm. Then I'm gonna drag the arm across and turn my hip a little bit to the other side. Yeah, then I get a little better angle already. 
I can use my legs a bit to pull him into me. And, but the most important thing is that the arm, uh, my arm that was on the wrist is gonna go straight away, grab around his back to his far lap here. I pull my elbow tight to the body and I keep pulling his body towards me. Now I have, I can let go of the other leg, uh, or I mean I can let go of my other grip here and I go inside his leg and at the same time I open the guard and I make a small adjustment here to better my angle, improve my angle here. Okay, I can keep the guard closed, but for the sweep, I want to start circling my left leg here. So, important for the instructions now, let, let, let go, but never let go of this grip here. Because if you let go of this grip, it's going to pull out the arm and you lose the position. Okay, so I'll show you the setup one more time here from the beginning. So, you can get the sleeve grip, I can get the grip behind the tricep, I lift my hip, pull the arm up, across to the side, and turn your hip away to this direction. Then immediately grab the lat and bring your knees towards your chest so you get a high guard and it's harder for him to make posture. Keep your elbow pinching to the body and keep pulling. Then my, my other arm here is going inside his leg, hooking his leg. I'm gonna pull my body towards his leg and at the same time trying to pull his knee towards my body. So I'm going all the way to this side. Now from here, I'm going to circle with my left leg, make big circles, and once you finish the circle, that's the moment that you try to pull with your left arm here and try to pull with your right arm underneath his leg at the same time. So the goal is to lift his left knee in this situation so his body is going to be on top of me. Here his body is on top of me so the, it, he becomes very light and now I can effortlessly sweep him over and I get to the mount. You can stabilize here, you have already a cross face, you can let go of the leg once you're stabilized and underhook his arm and then you can start to try and build for an arm triangle for example or of course you can go for arm bars and cross chokes. So again, let's um, look at the same angle one more time. This is one more important detail. When you finish the sweep and you scissor the legs, make sure the bottom leg you fully extend so your, your opponent falls over the leg instead of on top of the knee. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish the sweep very nicely. Um, and you're, if you're doing this on training partners, they'll feel, they'll feel your knee in their back, which is not so not so nice for training. So with this grip, lift the hip, pull the arm up, drag to the side, move the hip away, use your legs and grab the lat straight away. Pinch and pull, the other hand goes inside the leg, pull yourself towards the leg, you can open the guard briefly, make an adjustment and lock again, or you can straight away go for the sweep. So I pendle and pull, pendle and pull. Bend and pull. Once I feel his body on top of me, now my bottom leg, look here, straight. So he rolls over the leg and it's easy for me to get to the mount. Grab the underhook, you have a cross face on the underhook and you have a nice control. So let's do a different angle. So, like this, two on one, lift your hip, pull, Turn to the side, use your legs, grab the lat and pinch. This arm inside, hook the leg, pull your body towards his leg, start pendling, big circles with the leg. When you finish the circle, you pull. Pull with your arms. See, his, his knees coming off the mat. As soon as his knees off the mat, he's on top of me. Scissor my legs. I control here, so keep, keep the, uh, the lat grip here with my left arm. I slowly let go, swim inside of his leg, and I block his arm here from pushing into my knee to escape. So lock the arm up and get your control. I want to show you a slightly different setup you can play around with, uh, and then uh, a different scenario. So we like to go for the pendulum sweep, but sometimes uh, your opponent knows what you're doing. He's keeping his weight very heavy on one side so it's hard to get the sweep 
but usually when they do that, they give you options to uh, scoop out and go for the back. So we're trying to work between those two options. So it's always good to have a plan A and a plan B, so that when the first plan doesn't work or it's being defended very well, you can go for a second option and you can use both to get one of the one or the other. Okay. So first is setup. The first setup we had was the classic grip for two on one here, and we pull the arm across. Boom! We grab the back. So uh, what you can try and play with is if I get a double wrist grip here and then I try to push his arm out to the side and then from here I extend my body and I pull it all the way to the other side then use your knees and grab the lat again same idea okay now I can let go of his grip I try to underhook I circle and I try to go for the basic sweep here but if he's staying very heavy on that side then sometimes it's too hard to get the sweep. So I'm going as far as I can on my left hip now, and then I'm gonna try to go here. You can look for controlling his arm, because of course he wants to pull out his arm to square up to me. So I want to, one, use my body, but I, I also need to post on my arm to get up. So from here, I can get a grip here, and can try to move out. But if it's hard to do that, I let go, boom, but keep driving your hip towards his shoulder so you block his arm from getting out. So if he's trying to get his arm out, try to get your arm out here, it's hard to get his arm out, okay? So from here, I showed you on the lapel series, I can pull and sweep, sweep him over here to the, to the arm position here. Okay, go back. But of course, you can try and go take the back. So get double wrist control for example, pull to the side, go use my knees to bring him into me, grab the a lot here and from here I can try straight away go on my elbow, connect my hip and try to bring my knee to the floor. So my knee was here and I'm trying to bring my knee to the floor. So now I'm all already almost on his back. So from here you have a certain option where you can roll for the arm bar you can pull him and go to the sweep or I can just try to circle my leg in and try to get the mount position here uh, back mount position my back all right let's show you guys again so if you really try to insist on doing the pendulum sweep um, your opponent We'll start with try to defend, prevent, and then you get a lot of <clears throat> extra options where you can try, for example, take the back. Let's try it with an angle. Yes. Or, for example, for example, like this. So. Trying to sweep, he's staying heavy, okay? Elbow, boom, turn out. Okay, from here, I won't stay too long. I'll make a decision, either go for the back take, either go for the sweep to the mount, or spin through, turn, and attack the arm straight away. So all of these opportunities uh, can be set up from the pendulum sweep attack okay so make sure that you get very good at getting to this position yeah. or from here getting to this position if you get to this position underhook the leg pendle pendle if you can get the sweep you're good keeps his weight too far to that side boom try to bring your elbow back keep your hip connected to his shoulder and then from here, you have all these three options. Pulling the leg, pulling the arm, pushing, going to the mount. And I can go arm lock from here. That's option one. Option two. Going for the pendulum. He defends, keeps his weight heavy. Now both, they connected. I like to underhook here. 
grab the wrist, hook the second leg, punch the elbow in, and then straight away attack the neck. That's two, the back. And option three, you spin and dive for the arm lock. Last one. So, you're here, unhooking the leg, trying to sweep, he's defending, so all of a sudden, you pull your elbow back, connect your hip, you're seeing his arm here, so you dive in, then grab your own hip, you bring your shin up in front of his uh, face, your knee to the ground, put your forehead on the mat, then you turn into him, toward, looking towards his feet. Boom. I turn into him hard, so my shin is driving his head in. And then from here, if he has no grip, I can finish from here. If he has a grip, I'll be looking for one of his legs. If I can get the front, I'll get it. If I can reach for the back one, that's also perfectly fine. Pull it towards your face and turn. Then here, boom. Swing your leg over. If you get an arm bar position, and try to finish from here. So guys, that's all for today. Uh, getting close guard, doing a sweep, uh, showing you some options. Uh, this is uh, just a game that I like very much. Uh, let me know if you like it. If you have any questions, place them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Evolve your jiu-jitsu, guys.